S import plugin. Uh, this plugin is utilized to import events from outside calendars like Google Calendar, uh, Microsoft Outlook, or iCal on a Mac. Uh, this plugin is available for both Joomla 1.5, 6, and 7 uh, and is ex available only if you're using DT Register 2.7.12 or later. Uh, using a version prior to that, this plugin is not going to work. Okay, what we're going to do here, assuming you've already downloaded the plugin, uh, when you unzip the package, uh, there is a README file inside that has instructions. Um, we're going to first install it and then look at some ways to use it. Uh, you can see I'm in Joomla 1.7 here. Uh, if you're on 1.5, you'll do essentially the same thing. So I'm going to browse. I'm going to get the file that I need. Okay, and this would be the, uh, the zip file, install file, wherever you have it loaded on your local computer. Okay, so I've got the successful install message. I go in here to the manage area. I will see it in my plugins. I have it filtered right now, but you can see the plugin here, D2 Register ICS Import. It is a system plugin. Uh, this is version 1.1 at the time. Um, all right, this does need to be enabled. We're going to go ahead and go to the plugin manager and check things out there. All right, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and open it. See, by default, it is not published, so you do need to enable it. So let's go ahead and enable it. Um, if you are just going to do manual ICS file imports, all you have to do is enable it. You don't have to do anything else. Um, there are options here for cron job imports, and we're going to look at uh, manual imports in a minute. Um, but if you want to set up a cron job to automatically load your your file uh, let's go ahead and look at that first since we're already here first what we have to do is we have to hit the plus icon that will open this up give me the ability to insert a URL for the cron job uh, this is only available for a Google Calendar uh, the import tool will work pulling in events from uh, Microsoft Outlook or iCal on a Mac um, but if you want dynamically imported items from your Google Calendar that's what this cron job is for so I'm going to go ahead and jump over here to Google Calendar and uh, the way to get my uh, dynamic file you see I have just a few events this is all just gibberish events uh, I'm going to have my calendar here called DTH Calendar I'm gonna click the little button next to it and go to calendar settings and here you can see down towards the bottom private address there's a button that says iCal and you click on that this will give me a URL that ends with .ics I'm going to copy that and then come back to the plugin I'm going to paste that URL in here then I'm going to set a time uh, you need to set up your your ICS or your cron job um, on your hosting account. In the README file that comes with this plugin, there are uh, some instructions about that uh, with the exact command that you need to enter for your cron job. I'm not going to get into that right here, uh, but you can create your cron job. Uh, if you need help with doing that, you can ask your web host. Uh, but the command information you need is in the README file. You can set that cron job up to run every minute, every five minutes, however often you want to. But then right here, uh, we need to set a time. And I'm just going to leave it here at zero, which is midnight. Um, this is your server time. It may not be the same as your local time. Uh, it's going to be whatever time your server is running. And what will happen is whenever that cron job is set to run on your server uh, when it does it will trigger this uh, plugin and it will see 
if it's the appropriate time or not. If it triggers it and it is this time, then this URL will be processed and import the events that are in that ICS URL. Uh, note that any events that you've already imported previously through that same URL will be updated if needed. So if you change the name or you change the date or time on an event inside your Google Calendar, it will update that occurrence inside of DT Register um, once this cron job runs. Uh, the field down here is required. Uh, any event that you create in DT Register, of course, as you probably know, has to have an admin notification email. Um, so that's what this is for here. So you can put in uh, the email that will be used for that field on all of your imported events. The events that come in through this cron job will be uh, by default not published and um, that way you can go in you can set whatever parameters you need to on the event and uh, and then publish it. But this field has to has to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and save. So that cron job is there. Side note, um, let me go back in there real quick. I can make additional cron jobs if I need to, because uh, you know obviously you can have multiple URL, uh, multiple Google calendars, and so forth. So I can create as many of these cron jobs as I need to, um, even if it's the same URL and you want it to process uh, at different times or something. And then if you don't need one anymore, hit that little red minus icon and it will go away. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. Now I'm going to go to DT register component to the events management area. What you're going to see here is a new button in the toolbar for import. This button is not there unless you have this plugin. Um, so that will be something new that you see. You click the button and you can see it expands the page. You still have all your events information below but you have this section now here at the top. This is how you can manually import uh, items from uh, using this plugin. Import in from Google Calendar, iMac, or Outlook. So what you're going to do is you can choose upload or from URL. If you do the from URL, you can do what we just did um, by getting that ICS URL from Google Calendar. Um, if you have the multiple URLs, you can start a new line and paste as many as you need to in there. And when you click the Import Events button, it will process everything from that URL. That does not create a cron job. It is a one-time import. Uh, now if we go here to Upload, here's where we can upload from Google, iMac, or Outlook. Uh, with a .ics file. Um, if you need assistance on how to create that ICS file in iMac or, or uh, iCal or uh, Outlook, um, you can find that out in a quick Google search. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a Google Calendar since we're already there. I'm going to go back to the calendar and then here in the where it says My Calendars, I'm going to click the little drop down there, not the one here, but this one. Now I have settings. Here you'll see export calendars. I've downloaded my ICS file from Google Calendar. It downloads as a .zip file. So I have to first unzip that package. After I unzip it, I will have a ICS file. So I'm going to go to my downloads area. Here is the ICS file. I already unzipped it. For my zip package. So I have the .ics file. You do not load the zip file here. It's the .ics file. I click import and look it tells me fill out this field which is good because it's required. <clears throat> so anything else that I put in here is optional. Everything that's listed here will be applied to all of the imported events. So I can make all the imported events be in that category. I can 
make them all be private uh, but the only thing that's required is that I have at least one email here now I can go ahead and import import was successful uh, to see the data click here to reload that will reload your events page and then here in your list of events you will see the items that you just imported from the Google Calendar they will be uh, assigned to the category that you had them and they'll be listed here with everything else that you already had you can go back in and you can do this import whenever you need to um, but to have it automatically done uh, through Google Calendar use the cron job that we looked at, at the beginning of the video um, or right here at the upload also for iCal or Outlook so hopefully that will save you some time on instead of having to manually create everything uh, any events that you already have in another system to be able to import them in and uh, get them rolling quickly in DT register uh, so if you have any further questions uh, you can log a support ticket or hit us in the forum and we'll be happy to help you out thanks a lot